started in like three seconds. Okay, I'm in my seat. I got my hat on. My hair looks like crap. Oh. It's been a, it's been a week. It has so <laughs> just like like we're lucky. I'm here. You're beautiful. Um, <laughs> You're thank beautiful. You. <laughs> thank you. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and one, two, three. Welcome to the Colorado H&A Lunch Break, the podcast where our guests offer up a little bite of knowledge to help you help your business. Oops. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm your host, Desiree Hickson. I'm the membership chair for the Holistic Networkers Association and host of Laundry and Other Mysteries. Our guest today is Brenda Longo. Brenda is here with me at Miriam's Place to discuss birthdays, birthstones and intentional phrases. Thank you for joining me today. Please introduce yourself to our viewers before we get started. All right, great. Well, hi, I'm Brenda Longo and um, I am just trying to enjoy making things, jewelry and um, be able to do intentional words on bracelets. I like to stamp them and make them for people. Mine says choose joy. Nice. And I'm, you know, I like to use that to remind me to be happy all the time, no matter what happens, okay. no matter what's going on in your life. You know, it just, it just reminds me every day. And I like to help people with their word of intention to do that. All right. And so here we're going to jump right in. So I'm just going to ask you one question to get us started. And then I'm going to give you the floor to give your response. I may have a follow-up question and some comments afterwards, but let's get started. Okay. okay. So a few weeks ago on this podcast, we discussed changing your inner self-talk. So tell us about using intentional phrases and words to help us as individuals to stay motivated. Oh yeah, well that's that's what I started to mention a minute ago. But uh, um, what mine does is I I use choose joy. And I mentioned that a second ago, and it helps me to just um, keep going, you know, and finding happiness and joy in whatever I'm doing, whether I'm going to work or whether I'm my regular day job or whether I'm you know enjoying time out with my friends or my husband or anything and if there's anything that's going on that just kind of feels daunting you know I look at my bracelet and I say choose joy no matter what's going on and there's words that anybody can think of right to help them feel positive like um, I have a friend that did one I did one for a friend that says uh, brave you know she was feeling scared and nervous about uh, something she wanted to accomplish and it just she just wasn't making it happen because she was very afraid so I, I uh, you know I said well what word would you like you know so we talked about it and right. she chose brave and uh, actually we wrote I am brave okay you know right on it and um, and so whenever she looked at her bracelet she went oh I I am brave just as a reminder so anything like that would help to um, make it so that people can just keep going keep going well that's another one I did keep going keep going yeah Yeah, I might like keep it moving yeah yeah because sometimes we feel like we, we just don't want to we just kind of want to give up sometimes you know and um keep going was hers and she has happens to have a daughter who is uh, has a a disability and it's it's hard for her sometimes you know to keep going so we did one that said that okay so we're talking about so the way that we use intentional phrases is more like a almost like a word to jump start your mood or Mm -hmm. to um to change your mood if it's kind of going in the on a down slope yeah um but uh, we were talking earlier about birthstones do you think that can also help support your whole intentional phrasing Uh or whatever i do okay because i love birthdays and I celebrate my birthday all month long. Okay. And my birthday's this month, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. So um, um, I just love to celebrate birthdays because it's just, it, it's a milestone. And, but at the same time, it, it, it kind of, the, the memories of um, everything that you've accomplished right. for your whole life up until that time. 
you know, it, it helps me remember, you know, where, where I've come from mm-hmm. and where I've, you know, you know, and like for Choose Joy, as a matter of fact, it's like, I'm going to be 61 yeah. this year. And some people would think, oh man, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel that way. Right. I feel like, you know, it's better than the alternative, you know. Right, and so you got to <laughs> keep it moving. Um, no, and joy. there's something else about gemstones, right? They, it's, not, it's more than just a rock or a stone. They usually have some sort of meaning imbued in them, right? Yeah, in fact, um, my birthstone is pearl, and it, it has a double there's other ones for every month each right. month and I have um, like for pearl it oh would you believe it's joy yeah of course <laughs> uh, not well, very surprising at all yeah and the pearl is believed to, you know to foster family and happiness and joy and you know like and each one has its own different um, word like a what's your first stuff um, um, my birthday is October. October. So you are opal. So uh, you have hope. And many believe wearing opal provides foresight and prophecy. That probably seems fitting most days. Not, yeah. not all days, but most yeah. days. I, I like the, the opal as a, a gem anyway. Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty. So that would be your birthstone. In fact, I have a little something here for you with that on it. You do? Yeah. It's a little angel. Oh my gosh! I and it has an opal in it, and I, I, and so you can carry that with oh, you. Oh, thank you. Look at that. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'll have oh, to get it's close an opal. But yeah, it's an But it's so list. cute, and I love keychains. It's yeah. perfect. So that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. To have that. Thank you very much. So, but the opal, and then like uh, November is citrine, which is um, uh, um, a success. Okay. You know. And um, turquoise for December, peace. And uh, each one has its own. Right, you know. but now, okay, speaking of birthstones, though, what if I, obviously, I'm an October birthday, but what if I want, is it okay if I wanted to use a stone that, em, you know, that that's emblemless peace to mm-hmm. kind of bring that energy into my life? Oh, definitely. I mean, I think that, I would have my birthday. Our birthdays not are not every month. Right. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. In fact, it's helpful to have something from every color. Okay. You know, I think. Right. To to help because you don't you don't always need like I don't always have to feel like I need joy, you know, because I just kind of have it anyway. Right. I think I and but there's times when I feel like I you know just like. Oh, have hope. Don't have hope. You know, sometimes. Right. You know, so, you so I would bit of that. use that opal to feel hope. Now, um, another favorite um, stone of mine is jade. Now, what month is that? Oh, jade is. Um, uh, well, it's there isn't jade, but there's emerald. Okay. Which would be May. Right. So it's like a green. Yeah. So jade um, is, um, I could look, in fact, I have my little encyclopedia of crystals, <laughs> which I'd love to All right. uh, refer to, but um, it, I could look that one up for you and figure out what jade would do, All right. be beneficial for, for you. But May is um, emerald and it's just clarity. All right. You know, so green could be... Um, do you want me to find you, G? Yeah, let's let's see what, what we've got. Oh, here, wait, you know what? This is oh, cool. Got another cheat slip. I have the book, but I also have this little quick reference. Um, and I'm learning, I'm trying to learn all of it. Yeah. But, but there's, as you see, there's a lot. Because <laughs> it's a very long <laughs> the, You know, if, if this earth can create, or if God could create a, a, um, a stone, I'm gonna find it. You're right. <laughs> and I'm gonna make something out of it. But uh, jade shows balance. Okay. According to this. I like that idea. Yeah. yeah. So jade could show balance and um, now who so who it. who published it or who wrote that book? The Encyclopedia Ju- of Crystals. Judy Hall. Judy Hall. All right. And she makes one that's a um, 
it's called the Bi- um, Gemstone Bible or something. Right. It's same same, same author. Idea. But uh, I'm telling you, if you want to know something, okay, and it's got all kinds of word, all kinds of descriptions of and different types of stones too. I love mm-hmm. that. Yes, every every um, every one that there's ever pretty much any stone that's been discovered. Yes. So Ooh, blue lace agate, that one's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> there's so many. I mean, we could go over. You spend hours. Right. Away. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, for example, this one is a moldavite, and I keep keep getting requests for those sometimes. Um, and it comes from a a um, uh, a meteorite that hit the Earth. Oh, okay. And this this meteorite hit the Earth somewhere, and it. Created you know, that stone. Created that there. stone, and it's very, very rare, and I can't get my hands on it. But you know, <laughs> but I mean, could. it's very, you know, like uh, the chemistry says extraterrestrial. Okay. Well, it came from a right. It came from outer space, uh, Yeah, from a meteorite, and it, it's um, beneficial for compassion, security, empathy, finding the gift in an illness, diagnosis, emotional trauma, and I can't, you know. I'm just going by what the book right. says. I can't make any kind of claims right. at all, ever. <laughs> but it, it, if but. if if it helps you to have that in your life, that might yeah. be something you want. And I there mean, are. It's a very interesting looking stone. It's not necessarily something I would choose, but yeah, it's, it's definitely very interesting. Yeah, it's not real pretty. It's sort of a green. I've lost it now in here, but it's sort of a green color. But it looks kind of like glass, they right. say. You know, like a piece of glass. Okay. I don't like that idea. Anyway. <laughs> so... Um, uh, so how do you use gemstones in your life? Do you um, do you have uh, many pieces that are made with several different stones, or do you um, do you gain anything from just using those stones to be creative? Oh well, I don't know what you mean by um, that, but like when you're making a piece for somebody mm-hmm. else and you're using a particular stone, say for peace. Do you feel that when you're um, making the piece or is it just, you know, you're just making the piece for the person and so you don't necessarily feel anything coming off of that stone for yourself? Oh, okay. Well, what it is that I feel is more of a connection with the person that I'm making it for, you know, and hopefully I'm giving, as I'm creating it, um, I'm giving it good vibes <laughs> right so your own personal intentions are placed in like your and that energy is put into the piece exactly. into the item yes and then hopefully they feel that when they're wearing it you know and then you know and then they can once a person is wearing it themselves then their own good stuff goes into right, all it that, that and, positive energy around themselves yeah. and whatever is imbued in the stone and the description itself yeah Mm-hmm. I think so. I, you know. Yeah. I, I just it's more for me. It's more about not what I feel in the as I'm holding the stone, right? But what I'm feeling for the person right. I'm making okay. it for, because that's what it's all about. Right. For me. The creative process. You know, and when I'm making something, I mean, I make a or lot of like stuff. putting that love into it, as it were. Right. You know, and I and I do, and I still put love. I do feel like I put that into every piece I make, whether I'm making it for somebody, because I just love doing it so much. Right. That it's just, it's my, it's what I do, you know? Now let's talk some more about like the intentional phrases. What do you think is like the best way for an individual to come up with um, an intentional phrase? Should it be based on something they wish they had or something they would like to remain consistent in their life, for instance? Mm. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a tough question. It, it really is because I don't know. Um, like usually how do you help somebody choose what their word's going to be? Well, I ask them questions. Um, I've asked them questions like, what do you want your, what do you want to do like next week? You know, what do you want to make happen in the next week or in the next two weeks? You know, I I try to make it like short term Mm -hmm. so that it's not so daunting. 
you know, when somebody right, like, is... It shouldn't be, I want to climb a mountain. You know, it yeah. It should be something yeah. more relevant. I want to walk around the block, mm -hmm. and then two blocks, and then the mountain. Right. <laughs> down the road. So, it, to me, it feels like it would be more of a, um, or even a daily thing, you right. know, like with... Almost like a mini mantra. Yes, like the, the, the lady who need, needed something to, um, you know feel you know keep going you know that's right. like a daily right that's something you, you know. can look at your wrist or your necklace and go keep going yeah we're almost in minute by minute right. for some you know so I don't know if that answered your question but <laughs> I, I think you did um and we can explore that some more uh because I'm thinking that for some people they might need more of a long term mm -hmm. but it should be would you say like a daily affirmation type situation that will help them get to their long term right goal. and I, I think when people think of a certain thing every day over time it it kind of helps them manifest the, that final goal right it becomes a, ha a I don't want to say habit but it becomes um, well, it starts normal. to become right normal, ingrained to where they don't necessarily have to look at their their bracelet every time, right? Or the the written word, or however they're putting that intentional phrase. Right. They don't necessarily have to nurse it every day, but they know it exists right. and it becomes a part of them. Mm -hmm. And then you can even have more than one word. Okay. You know, a person could uh, like. Uh, I chose, I have choose joy for mine, and mine is, that's just my background, right. you know. And then I came up with another one that I love, and I it's unstoppable, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it just reminds me that, yes, I am unstoppable. Right, and it's just one word, so it doesn't have to be compl complicated. It doesn't have to be a whole sentence or a right. paragraph. Just one simple word yeah. can be the thing that helps motivate you. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's one. That's the one that I use a lot. I don't have it on right now, but it does. It comes to me a lot. Right. Is there any phrasing that you say discourage people from using? Um. Like for instance, um, you know, in psychology they say don't use well, don't do not use the word don't. Yeah, well, true. <laughs> um, because it may have the effect of demotivating you. Yeah. Oh, that, that's for sure. But um, I'm trying to think if there was anything that I would that I've said that would. Um, have you ever had like had to change somebody's mind whenever they were trying to come up with a phrase? Or, no. Okay. No, I really usually haven't people are because, able to pick something that's positive. Yeah, most of the time I I've never had anybody um, when somebody is asking for this, they want something. Right. They want to move forward they they don't want see or hear i'm using the word don't right they they're choosing to move forward they are choosing to move forward yes okay. <laughs> and so it helps them when they pick their word to help them to do that i like that idea yeah. and and you don't have to wait for a bracelet from Renda, you can start your own, you know, right now today, you can choose a word that uh, means something to you. Yeah, and you can even just put it on your, um, you know, like on your mirror, write it in lipstick on right. your mirror. Or a sticky note. Or a sticky note, or, um, or a felt pen anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, that's, you know, just put it somewhere so you can... You know, you could write it on your hand. Yeah, I have like a dry erase calendar and I write phrases up there that I want to remember. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's all about, you know, getting moving forward with something that's positive and happy and, you know. Right, and that can help you uh, keep going when the going gets tough. Yeah. And, you know, we all know how that's been feeling the last year or so. Mm -hmm. So many yeah. of us can relate to that. Uh -huh. so. Yes. And I was out of work for um, a couple of months when this all started. And um, that's how I discovered that I could, you know, do 
do what I, I do. do <laughs> and then and yeah. help keep other people motivated by yeah. making the, the little bracelets. Uh-huh. All right, so um, we're going to wrap this up. And I just want to thank you again, Brenda, to oh. for joining me on the H and A lunch break today. Before we sign off, tell our viewers how they can find you, such as your social media, your email, your contact number. Oh. Do you have a Facebook? Well, I do. Okay, but first of Facebook? all, I want to thank you for having me. Oh, I, you welcome. know, when you asked me about doing this, I was just like flabbergasted. <laughs> I was like so honored, and I just, you know. It just well, you're one of the most good. motivational people I know. I mean, your bracelets and just your jewelry oh. and just your energy oh. is just amazing. So. Well, you know, I'm glad to be able to share share. You know, about trying to trying to you know just keep moving, and keep moving forward, and keep being happy. And you know, even when things aren't perfect, perfect. Mm-hmm. you know, just choose joy and keep going <laughs> all right i love that all right and, so what's your facebook page? oh yeah um it's uh, i'm at i have brenda's bling thing creations is on facebook so if you just look up brenda's bling thing creations it'll pop I have right up a facebook page and it pops right up and it'll say um you'll see it says she um how did that say she she decided she could so she did or something mm-hmm. like that on my facebook page so when you see that you'll know it's me you'll know it's her. <laughs> all right so okay we'll include the information that brenda just shared in the video post and down below in the comment section if we find anything else we need to add if you've enjoyed this video and would like to join me on the h a lunch break please send email to colorado diva at gmail.com And we'll schedule you for an episode in the very near future. All right, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to check out the other lunch break videos on our Facebook page and like, share, and drop a comment in the com- drop a message in the comment section. Until next time, this is Desiree Hickson signing off for the Holistic Networkers Association. Bye. Oh, thank you for having me.